Hello everyone, Orb the Q here. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to be going over all the Hytale content on the latest blog introduced this weekend. If you didn't know, Hytale updates their blog every Friday. From now on, I will be doing blog highlight videos based off of what each blog is and will be uploading a new blog highlight every weekend. I'm a little late to the party, only a two months late. Oops. In the newest blog, Hytale posted about the player character customization. This is by far one of my favorite blogs so far as we get to see all the possible avatars and how each character can have their own personality. With character customization, all assets that can be used for your appearance can be found in the My Avatar menu of the player menu. The player can customize skin tone, eye color, facial and head hair, and of course clothing. Notice here how in the top that there is also adventure, mini games, servers, and settings. There is also the player profile picture in the top right that's different from the avatar in the customization menu. It's possible we will be able to use our own profile pictures instead of the actual character being our profile picture, which would be really cool for individuals and content creators alike to further their uniqueness in the experience of Hytale. Going back to character creation, it also looks like players can customize hair, eyebrows, eyes, facial hair, torso attire, torso overlay, pants, armwear, gloves, hat accessories, glasses, earrings, and emotes, which we'll discuss that later. The player can mix and match between each of these, and if you look at the top option in the character creation menu, you can find body type too. This might be races like humans, elves, Quebex, Trorks, and other races. We'll get back to that later too. The first thing that the blog goes over are the multiple hairstyles. The blog shows that there are a variety of short and long hairstyles, and Hypixel states how hairstyles can be made in the Hytale Model Maker to enhance the character's look. While showing off some of the hairstyles, the blog also shows off different skin tones the players can choose from. And of course, when you talk about hair, you definitely have to talk about style, and style includes color. We have a wide range of colors that we can choose from, but from what we can see with the colors of hair and the color palette on the character creator menu, it looks like there may not be an option to use custom colors as of yet. We have Zorro, Captain Jack Sparrow, Hogwarts, Luffy, Harry Potter, Madoka Magica, Aizawa Sensei, Mace Hughes, Dre Beats, and Bunny Girl. Some of the shirts are pretty cool too. Here we have Look At Me, I'm Fabulous. This is Sparta, Link of the Wild, Rich and Ready, Bedtime, Let's Play Ball! I'm ready for school, Mom. It's cold outside, and of course, Grandma got me this. Oh, let's not forget that shirts are a one-size-fits-all, too. Equipping armor will layer the armor on top of the clothing you wear, but by what they're saying in the blog post, and looking at this picture, you can see here, the clothes are still visible under the armor you wear, which is pretty neat because you don't want to spend all that time customizing what you wear just to put armor on it. Though it'd be cool to see like invisible armor or crystal armor that see through. Oh wow, maybe that's a thing. Oh, and longer items like coats animate as you move. So maybe this means you can use the Hytale model maker to make something that has a tail? There's so much variety in this game, the possibilities are essentially endless. Hytale's adventure mode takes place in a magic rich fantasy world and many of the customization reflects that. Literally, the blog says that you can create a wide variety of fantasy avatars, grizzled veterans, farmers, magic users, artisans, and many, many other options. Some of the other possible clothes players will find are eye patches, goggles, tiaras, pirate hats, rainbow scarves, and you can actually use accessories with other accessories, like a scarf with flower braids and hats with glasses. What's really great about this blog is Hypixel Studios is showing players the creation process of each of these outfits. It's definitely a great reference if you're interested in using Hytale Model Maker to make your own clothes. Speaking of references, Connor Stein Goodman, an artist from Hypixel Studios, even stated how he looked up references and went into a lot of detail into designing this particular piece to match with the Zone 2's desert. He even goes so far as to use details inspired by Hytale's backstory, even talking about how the clothes the people in the desert wear are inspired by the Farons wearing shackles. Kind of a sad thought though, since the Farons are enslaved by the Skerricks. 
One thing's for sure, they definitely did their research. The final thing we got to see in the newest blog is probably one of the best things, and something I mentioned earlier, and that's emojis. Wow, this reminds me of the old days of gaming when emojis were new to video games. But instead, with the model making in Hytale, players will be able to design and animate their own emojis. The game already comes with its own set of emojis to begin with, bringing a lot of life to the world of Hytale, a game already full of life. There are many ways to personalize your character in Hytale, but oh, oh your human character that is. That's right, you get to play as several other playable races in Hytale. They hint to how many of the races were shown in the announcement trailer, and that more information about races will be in a later blog. So essentially, we got accessories, character customization, emotes, and even races all in this blog, and that's about the gist of their blog. I do gotta say, I am really excited to make my own character. It's going to be great to make something unique and custom to me. Hytale is already throwing so many great content at us, and it's very exciting. I hope you guys are also excited. Thank you all so very much for watching. That's about it for this blog highlight. I will be doing more blog highlights, so be sure to subscribe to see more if you're interested, and make sure to ring that bell to get notified as soon as I post new content. Leave a like down below and tune in for the next one. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and a great week, and until the next time, have fun.